Welcome back to KC Talks EV. Just before we start, I want to give a full disclaimer on the particular van that I'm currently driving. So this has actually been lent to me courtesy of Maxus York and their plug and go hire scheme. Initially, I was actually going to pay the full rate, but they insisted, you know, take it, enjoy yourself um, or try and enjoy yourself at least and see what you think of the vehicle. Just a bit of context, for the last week or so, I've basically been working on my garden. In particular, the somehow the previous owner of this house, as far as I'm aware, was a builder and thought it was a very clever idea to double ply decking. So um, put it perpendicular to another board. What that basically means is it doesn't drain, it doesn't dry out, it starts to rot. No matter how good the pressure treating is, eventually it will completely disintegrate. And that has been very, very useful for this particular van here. Um, essentially, this is a Maxus eDeliver 3 with a tipper on the back of it. Now, I haven't actually used the tipper part of it, as you can see the controls here. And the simple reason why is that um, there's no household waste recycling center that will allow you to basically tip a lot of it. I was essentially hauling just rotten lumber. Uh, this load bay can take eight foot eight pieces with um, pretty much ease. And essentially, the only other thing I've done with it really is I've picked up quarter of a ton of MOT sub base. I kind of ran out on um, the uh, bulk bags that I bought, as well as buying about eight sleepers. So 200 by 100 mil sleepers. And it's basically taken it like absolutely nothing. So that kind of leads me to why this particular vehicle, so a Max C Deliver Free Tipper, has been a very, very good proposition, basically, um, especially if you're a DIYer. First of all, it avoids you from dirtying up your current vehicle if i did this with my zs ev i think i would completely obliterate the interior basically the only thing i will say is obviously you can't really do a bulk bag a one ton bulk bag is actually 850 kilograms and you can't really do that with this but that being said i wasn't going to do that anyway um, i ordered all my aggregates in advance so my mot sub base the actual decorative uh, gravel and some p shingles as well i wasn't really going to go and collect that anyway with a van but the other bits you know carrying eight sleepers so i had 200 by 100 by eight foot sleepers in the back of it absolutely no problem the other thing and the other flip side of this was when i took it to the tip for example i was able to carry obviously a lot more in one of the and the final tip run that i did i carried pretty much about 10 square meters of double ply rotting decking now rotting decking or rotten wood is significantly more in terms of weight. And essentially the best thing about it is, is I think it's fairly comparable with the cost of a tipper of a internal combustion engine tipper as well. And that means that you get the benefits of driving electric. Um, I don't think I'd see any better than about 20, 25 miles to the gallon, for example, driving a um, diesel round town, a stop start traffic, etc. And essentially I've just been able to just plug in at home as normal. If you do want to borrow one for, for example, your next landscape gardening project or when you need to rip up a lot, a lot of stuff from your garden, then I have left a link in the video description if you would like to hire one. But I think that is pretty much it. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.